Hey uh, everybody, One Empire here. Today I've got a look at the new Magneto X Magnetic FFF printer by P.O. Poly. This thing just uh, recently got announced not too long ago and I just found out about it. So I'm making a quick video checking out their website and talking about what they have. So you don't have to. I'm going to try and keep this under 10 minutes. So let's get started. What makes this thing special? Well, it's bigger. It's got a faster build than anything else and a new motion system which is the magnetic base linear motors instead of your stepper motors so they've got it at $1,399 for pre-order for, uh, for the US down from $1,999 normal price at the, the retail price so you can only get one if you're trying to pre-order they're talking about enclosures here which are sold separately we'll get into that in a little bit and you just basically have to make your spot on the list sorry for the smacking now you get some free stuff home delivery 500 grams nothing too crazy and basically the linear motor has very high accuracy compared to stepper motors which are also quite accurate but they're talking repeatability of three microns which for a 0.4 millimeter nozzle on an fdm printer some people say that may be more than the material is capable of being printed at. But either way, very high precision, which also, moving down here, you see these really high speeds. Max print speed, 800 millimeters per second. 1,500 millimeters per second max travel speed. 22,000 millimeters per second acceleration max. And then your print volume is going to be 400 by 300 by 300. So that's XYZ. And... That's a pretty good build volume, especially for something this fast. It's the fastest thing this size. So here's your your ship estimates in no mid-November. Basically, there's some pictures of it. It's the first one based on linear rails, the linear motors, magnetic base linear rails motors. I keep saying linear rails, excuse me. No belts and pulleys. So that's going to be less maintenance. It's going to be faster and less uh, calibration. So they're saying fewer print artifacts and less downtime. So all very good, especially if you're running things for your business, like me, shout out pinealconcepts.com, um, although that's still getting up and running at the time of filming. So here's some pictures of the, the linear motor motion system and some marketing stuff, closed loop control, we'll get into that. It's not uh, open you know cloud based like the bamboo lab which is a definite plus they're saying for the extruder 90 newtons 30 millimeters per second speed and 60 millimeters per second cube volume which is uh definitely going to support that high speed 600 millimeters per second printing now the big question is cooling are you going to be able to cool that we'll cover that in a minute so they've got the hardened steel nozzle with swappable melt zones so as you can see down here Below, they've got the copper nozzle that's looking like a shorter melt zone, and then the, the steel, which has a larger melt zone. You can comment below. I don't remember off the top of my head why those uh, would be beneficial, but I know there is a reason. Talking about the cooling, you've got dual 1300 RPM, 13,000 RPM, 4015 ball bearing fans, and an additional 8,000 RPM, 3010 ball bearing fan for the heat sink. On top of that, um, You've got load cell sensor for the auto leveling, which is a 48 point auto leveling using a load cell as opposed to like a BL touch or something else. Uh, I believe load cells are, are preferable. I know the Ultimakers use those and they are more costly, but, but preferred. Comment below what you think on that or what the truth is. So yeah, those are the cooling fans there on the, on the image. There's a, a visualization of the 48 point bed leveling now it's got a 300 c hot end so you can print most of the materials that are out there you also have run out filament run out sensor should be standard these days there's a visualization visualization of the build volume very nice um, and it talks about the printer itself is 550 by 610 by 700 millimeters that's the space it should take up on your desk now, interestingly, they've got a four-axis independent Z-axis. Each corner has its own motor. So they're saying for accurate bed leveling, 
kind of vague on how that works, but you know, in, in theory, you could potentially tilt one side uh, left, right, up, down to get a better uh, overhang. Someone in the comments had mentioned that. That'd be cool if you could do that. I don't think the software supports it yet, but uh, the hardware would allow that in theory. Now, this is another cool thing. The heating of the build plate. A thousand watt AC powered. So my Sidewinder X1 has an AC build plate and it heats up super fast. It is awesome. My V400 does not. It's a DC and it takes forever to get up to speed. And so having this AC uh, supply heating up your uh, build plate is awesome. I can tell you from experience, it's, it sucks when everything's up to speed and you got to wait another five minutes for your build plate to get up to temperature so you can start printing some more exotic materials or, you know, compared to PLA and whatnot. So you got the flexible PEI build surface. That's definitely nice. Kind of standard these days and expected. Clipper, which is also good. Orca slicer, also fantastic. I like it a lot better than the or the Cura that I'd been using previously. I just got into Orca. Still learning it, but the results that it puts out are great, and especially on the V400, which I know has some issues, but we will stay on topic here. We've got a 1080p 30 FPS camera, so not bad. It's like, okay, it's included, which is nice. They're mentioning that it can detect potential print issues, but I don't think it has the AI or whatever that will allow it to, to do anything yet, but in the future, it should be able to with clipper updates and stuff like that as, as the future becomes the present. That would be nice to integrate. So here's the optical enclosures. You do have to buy separately. I'll jump over to the, the accessories page and you can see kind of what they're charging for stuff. And um, it says apparently, it says 60C on here. I'm not sure what that's about. So passively heated, you could probably modify it to get actively heated. Um, but we'll move on to the cooling. You've got the jet stream style, which is basically like looking like a, a tower fan tipped over on its side. Mm -hmm. uh, they're saying it's quiet and provides auxiliary cooling, which would definitely be needed if you're going to be printing at max speed, especially with PLA or something like that. Uh, the V400 I have, when it's printing at high speeds, the biggest issue I have is, is proper cooling. Um, so having something like that would be necessary. And they do charge extra for it. I think it's $50, $49.99. You got your 7-inch touchscreen which is nice, kind of like your Sonic Pad or Speeder Pad by Creality or FL Sun, running the Clipper software to run your printer. Another nice thing is privacy. Since it's on Clipper, it's not on their cloud. Like that's a one-up for compared to Bamboo Labs because Bamboo Labs makes you put everything on their cloud, and it's susceptible to you know spying or stealing, or there's just no privacy there, and a lot of people are concerned about that, and myself included. So that's definitely a one-up. And then they talk about shipping mid, uh, when will it be shipped? Mid-November, how long will it take? Five to seven days. They use UPS, DHL, etc., to ship it. So uh, some of the other questions, can I get it personalized? It's kind of, you're the creator, you can do it yourself. Can I return? Basically, yes. Any questions, they've got a contact page, um, contact at popoly.net. I don't know if that's how you say it, but um, Magneto X Facebook group link here. Here's some of the extras. The Magneto X enclosure for the sides is $69.99 on sale down from $79.99. You got an extra melt zone. If you click on the enclosure here, you can see that the um, top enclosure, sorry for the smacking, is $139, which is a lot. But you'll probably need it if you're going to be printing those high speed materials or exotic, you know, high temperature ones. So what else do we have here? Your melt zones, extra fans, you got a PEI sheet, extra extruder, jam clearing rod. Uh, not exactly sure what all this comes with, but that's kind of what you're looking like. And then there's that, uh, that giant uh, resin printer. So I think I've covered most of this stuff. Uh, any questions or comments, leave it in the comments. Um, and I'll try and get to them. And I know other people in the community will as well. But thanks for watching me go through the magnetic uh, FFF printer by Piopoli. Piopoli, I don't know how you say that. Um, oh, one other thing to mention is it's a single color. There's no mention of like multiple colors. So if that's a thing you need, 
that's all. One Empire is signing